Welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn about how to solve exponential inequalities. So when we say exponential inequalities, these are inequalities where the variable is in the exponent. So makikita yung variable sa exponent natin. Okay? Pwedeng makikita dito, pwedeng makikita sa kabila, or parehong makikita sa bawat side ng inequality. Okay, now, tandaan natin, ito yung base, okay, ito yung inequality sign. So, ano-ano ang mga inequality sign? Less than, greater than, okay, great, uh, less than or equal, and greater than or equal. So, ito yung mga sign na makikita natin. Now, ito yung property of inequality for exponential function na dapat nating tandaan. If A is positive number other than 1, then A raised to X is greater than a raised to y if and only if x is greater than y. And a raised to x is less than a raised to y if and only if x is less than y. Okay, to make it short, ibig sabihin, if the base is greater than 1, then the direction of the inequality is retained. So, tingnan nyo dito. This is... Uh, Greater than, so here it's greater than, greater than also. Less than, less than. Okay, now, again, if the base is greater than 1, then the direction of the inequality is retained. So, dapat unang yung titingnan ang base. Now, what about if the base is less than 1 or greater than 0 if A or the base is greater than 0 but less than 1, then a raised to x is greater than a raised to y if and only if x is less than y. So, napansin nyo dito, ito ay greater. Pagdating dito, pag isosolve na natin yung variable sa exponent, na-reverse na ngayon ang inequality sign. So, if the base is less than 1, then the direction of the inequality is reverse. Okay, now, mas maintindihan nyo lalo pag habang nag uh, so solve tayo. Okay, here I have 2 raised to x plus 3 is less than 16. Now, the exponent is x plus 3. So, ang variable natin na sa exponent, ito yung base na tinatawag. Ito naman ang exponent. Okay, now, kailangan, pag nag-solve tayo ng exponents or ng variable sa exponents, dapat pareho muna yung base nila. So, para magawa natin yan, dapat i-change natin yung 16 into exponential form, which is 2 raised to 4, right? 2 times 2, 4 times 2, that is uh, 8 times 2, 16. Okay? So, copy muna natin, then 2 raised to 4. Okay, now, pareho na yung kanilang base. Since ang base natin is greater than 1, so mariretain ngayon itong inequality sign. So ang gagawin lang natin, equate na natin ito. I mean, susolve na natin yung variable sa exponent natin. Less than 4. Okay? So now, to solve for x, lipat lang natin sa kabila, magiging less than 4 minus 3, and x is less than 1. Okay, now, x is less than 1. Pag tinignan nyo, imagine nyo yung number line, o kaya maggawa uh, ka na yung sarili nyo number line, kung saan siya papunta. So, nandito ang ating 1, less than, so papunta siya dito. Okay? Papunta siya sa left, na kung saan, hanggang negative infinity. Papunta naman sa right, that is positive infinity. Now, take note na pag ang ating inequality sign ay less than or greater than, ang gagamitin natin ay parenthesis. Pag ito naman ay a less than or equal, greater than or equal, ang gagamitin natin ay bracket. And, pag ginamit natin ang negative infinity or positive infinity, wala siyang katapusan, di ba? So, gagamit din tayo ng parenthesis. Okay, so now... Ano ngayon ang magiging uh, solution set natin dito? Okay? Kaya set dahil hindi lang iisa ang sagot. So, less than, papunta siya doon sa left. So, negative infinity 
and then 1. Parenthesis, because it means na ang 1 ay hindi kasama. Okay? Open circle siya. Next, we have 81 raised to x is greater than 27 raised to x plus 1. Now, in this case, kailangan gawin natin na maging pareho ang base nila. Okay? So, 81, ano ba yung multiple ng 81 and 27, ang common multiple nila? 3, di ba? 3 raised to 3, that is equal to 27. And 3 raised to 4, that is equal to 81. So, ibig sabihin ng 81, pwede natin siya i-change ng 3 raised to 4. And then, i-times natin yung x na nandoon na, na exponent. Now, ang a natin is still greater than 1. Kasi 3 siya. Dito naman, magiging 3 raised to 3. Then, multiply natin yung uh, exponent na nandoon. So, here, 3 raised to 4x is greater than, distribute natin yan, so magiging ang exponent ngayon, 3 times x, that is equal to 3x, and then 3 times 1, that is 3. Okay, now, apply na natin yung property. Dito, pareho na ang base nila, so ibig sabihin, 4x, re-retain natin yan, then 3x plus 3. Then, solve 4x, Lipat lang natin sa kabila ito. And then, 3. So, 4x minus 3x, that is, x is greater than 3. Okay? So, ngayon, greater than 3, papunta siya ngayon sa right. So, kung hindi nyo kayang i-imagine yan, gumawa kayo ng number line. So, nandyan ang 3, greater than 3, papunta siya doon. Pero, hindi kasama ang 3. So, ibig sabihin, open parenthesis, 3 going to positive infinity. Okay, next number. 4 raised to 2x minus 6. And then, here is less than or equal to 8 raised to x plus 4. Now, alam natin na ang 4 is equal to 2 squared. At yung 8 naman, that is 2 cubed. So, ang base natin ay 2 na kung saan a is greater than 1. Okay? So, ngayon, hindi mababago yan. So, 2 raised to 2, multiply natin yung exponent na nandoon, is less than or equal, retain siya. Ang 8 naman ay 2 raised to 3, at multiply natin yung exponent. So, now we use the distributive property, magiging 4x minus 12, Sa kabila naman, 3x plus 12. Okay, so now, pareho ang base na. Masusob na natin yung variable ngayon, yung x. Magiging 4x minus 12, retain, and then 3x plus 12. Solve for x, lipat sa kabila. And then, lipat naman ito sa kabila, plus 12, plus 12. Okay? Or, pwedeng alisin na ito, 12 plus 12. So, x now is less than or equal to 24. So, ano ngayon ang ating solution set? Less than or equal to 24. Ibig sabihin kasama ang 24. Pero, papunta siya sa left, sa negative infinity. So, negative infinity, then 24 kasama, kaya bracket. Okay? Next, 6 raised to x is greater than 216 raised to x plus 1. Okay, tingnan naman natin dito. So ito, ang base natin dito ay 6. So gagawin natin uh, base 6 din ito, which is 6 raised to 3, that is 216. 6 times 6, 36 times 6, 3 times 216. So maging 6 raised to x, and then 6 raised to 3, and then times x plus 1. Okay? So now, magiging 3x plus 3. Okay? Pareho na ang base. Masusolve na natin ngayon ang variable sa exponent. x, hindi ma mariretain ito because a is greater than 1. And then, 
3x plus 3. Okay? Now, solve for x. Lipat sa kabila ito, maging negative 3x plus 3. This is negative 2x greater than 3. Now, magdi-divide tayo ngayon ng negative numbers. So, ano nga uli ang rule dyan sa inequality? Pag nagdi-divide tayo or nagmumultiply tayo ng negative, marireverse ngayon ang inequality sign. Okay? So, negative 2 divided by negative 2 magiging positive x. Ito ngayon ay magiging less than the negative 3 over 2. Okay, tandaan yan ha. Pag tayo ay nag-multiply at nag-divide ng negative, the same negative number, both sides of the equation, or inequality, then uh, the inequality symbol here will be will re, uh, reverse. Okay? Will be reverse. Now, what is now the solution set? Okay, less than. So, less than, papunta sa left hanggang negative infinity. Okay? Then, negative 3 over 2, hindi kasama. Kaya, parenthesis. Okay, look at number 5. Now, here, look at the base. Less than 1. Less than 1, 1 third fraction. So, now, pag less than 1, ang ating base, anong mangyayari dito? Marireverse siya, di ba? So, ngayon, Magiging 2x instead of greater than, maging less than. And then x plus 1. Then solve for x, lipat sa kabila, maging 2x minus x is less than 1. And then x is less than 1. 2x minus x. Okay? So ngayon, ang solution set natin, less than, so parenthesis ang gagamitin natin. Less than, papunta sa left, so hanggang negative infinity siya. At, 1, pero hindi kasama ang 1. Okay, look at this one. This is 2 third, and this is 16 over 81. Which means na pwede natin i-change into exponential form, na yung magiging base nito ay 2, at ito naman magiging base ay 3. And 2 third again, A is less than 1. So ngayon ang 16, that is 2 raised to 4. At yung 81 naman ay 3 raised to 4. So now, we have 2 third x less than 1. So, marireverse siya ngayon. Okay, ah, cop copy muna natin. Okay, mamaya na natin i -re reverse Okay. Now, this is now 16 kasi chinichange pa lang natin ito. So, that is 2 raised to 4. And then, 3 raised to 4. Okay. But, pwede natin pag-isahin na lang yung exponent. Since parehong exponent nila, dyan na lang natin ilalagay. So, 2 raised to 4, 3 raised to 4. So, ngayon, look at this one. Pareho na yung mga, ang base nila. X, therefore, pag nagsasolve na tayo ngayon ng variable sa exponent, dahil ang A natin is less than 1, marireverse na ngayon ito. Okay? So, magiging greater than or equal na siya to 4. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna use... So, this is now greater than or equal to 4. Okay, so ganun lang. Titingnan nyo muna yung A, yung base, kung greater than or equal sa 1. So, now, ano yung magiging sagot natin dito? Kasama ang 4, greater than or equal to 4. So, ngayon, lalagyan natin, ang ilalagay natin ay bracket. Pero, greater, so, positive infinity. Pag positive infinity, automatic parenthesis din ilalagay natin. Okay, look at this one. Okay, look at this number here. Erase ko muna yan. Para may space tayo, mag-solve. Okay, here, 1, ra 1 over 100 raised to x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 1,000 raised to 2x plus, uh, plus 2. Okay, 
So now, kailangan gawin muna natin pareho ang magiging base. But look at this one. Yung A natin is less than 1. So alam natin na kailangan natin i-reverse yan. Okay? But ang 100, alam natin ang 100 is 10 raised to 2 or 10 squared. At ang 1,000 naman ay 10 cubed. Okay? Now, pwede natin ngayon i-change yan. So magiging 1 over 10 squared x plus 5. Kopihin lang muna natin yan kasi chine-change pa lang natin. Maging 10 cubed raised to 2x plus 2. Now, look at this one. Pwede natin gawin, since ito ay 1, pwede natin ilagay yung exponent na yan outside here. Because 1 times 1 or 1 squared is still 1. Okay? Pero i-multiply natin ito. Ganun din dito, pwede natin ilagay yung 3 outside. Kasi 1 times 1 times 1 is still 1. Then 1 cube, 10 cube, still equal to this. Then multiply natin yun. Okay, so now, pareho na ang base. Ang gagawin natin, reverse na natin yan. So that is now, multiply natin yan, magiging 2x, then plus 10. So magiging less than or equal, multiply natin yan, 6x plus 6. Okay? So, take note ha. Pag nagsusolve na tayo ng variable sa exponent, titingnan natin yung value ng a. Okay. So, now, solve for x. So, 2x, lipat lang natin sa kabila, maging minus 6x. At ito naman sa kabila. Okay. So, 2x minus 6x is negative 4x. Is less than or equal to negative 4. Now, dividing both sides by negative 4, pag nagdi-divide tayo ng negative 4, again, nagdi-divide tayo ng negative or nagmumultiply tayo ng negative, parehong negative sa both sides, pari-reverse uli yan. So, negative 4x divided by negative 4, magiging positive yan, positive 1. Okay? So, this is x, sorry, greater than or equal to 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 4, positive 1. So, ngayon, ano yung sagot natin dito? Maging solution set natin, greater than, ibig sabihin kasama ang 1. Okay? Papunta siya where? Sa right, papuntang positive infinity. Parenthesis. Okay. na kung gusto nyo i-check, pag may time pa kayo, isa-substitute nyo lang yung value ng x dito. Okay? Then, i-compare nyo kung magiging greater than or equal ba. Ganon din sa the rest dito. If you have time to check, gagawin nyo lang, substitute nyo lang yung value ng x. Mag-isip lang kayo ng number na greater than. Or, I mean, greater than or equal. Start kayo sa 4. 5, 6, 7 na pwede nyong i-substitute. Ganun lang. So, kailangan nasa, nasa kung ano yung solution set, yun lang pwede nyong i-substitute doon para magiging true pa rin ang inequality. Okay? So, that's all for this video. And thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!